everybody. Happy Friday. I hope everybody is doing amazing and well. Um, so if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I need you to do that today. Go over to Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel and subscribe. I have a little something on my mind that I, I like to talk about from a coach's perspective. And, um, you know, sometimes I have to prick at people on occasion. Um, you know, the, the thing about it, I think that's really, really difficult in our society, especially, or really technically any society is that um, there's a huge amount of emphasis on how pretty you are, right? How pretty you are. And then here's the other thing. As soon as our man, hey, are you? Oh, thanks, love. As soon as our man cheats on us, what's the first thing we say? How pretty is she, right? Or I can't believe she's not even as pretty as me. I can't believe he left me for her. She's not even cute. Ohio, babe. I'm in Ohio. So, you know, and I think that the emphasis on pretty a lot of times can just get to the point where we lose sight of the importance of our intelligence, of our very essence, of our purpose, of what we are bringing to the table as a woman to a man um you know at 17 years old my dad told me something very very important he told me he says when you get in a relationship come to the table with something don't just be a leech to a man to where you to where you are sucking him dry bring something to the table what are you bringing to the table yes you gotta have a brain absolutely my mom used to say Nicole, pretty is as pretty does. These are all old schools. So my parents were two generations before me, so it was a little bit different from where I came from. So yeah, I'm in my 40s and all, but, but my parents are older than me, quite older. So pretty is as pretty does is what my mom used to always tell me. And, and then she would extend that out and tell me, look, here's the thing. You can be as pretty as you want to be. But if you don't have no substance, or if you're a, a, an ugly person, you're pretty, don't matter. A lot of times we sit, we sit in, sp in the headspace that if we're pretty enough, he's going to wife us up. He's going to be with us, you know. We want to make sure that a man, you know, appreciates our beauty. And there's nothing wrong with making sure you fix up and, and, and uh, have some confidence about yourself and care about how you present yourself. Absolutely. You know, having confidence and all that is great. But one thing my dad also told me, since we're talking about Father's Day coming up, so I like to highlight what things my daddy told me. He used to tell me, ain't nothing more despicable or aggravating to a man than a conceited woman. <laughs> he says, stay modest, man. Stay modest. Because there's always somebody prettier there's always somebody smarter. There's always somebody better than you. But understand, just be the best you you can be. And so, you know, I just want to pass that on to the ladies that think, well, my man left me for someone prettier. I mean, for someone not as pretty. I'm sorry. Don't matter. Looks can't pay the bills. Looks can't pay the bills. And a lot of times we spend a lot of energy in how pretty we are. One of the best compliments I get from gentlemen across the, across the nation is, you know, I passed by your, your live and I found out that you're not just another pretty face. I got something from you, some knowledge, some wisdom. And, and, and it humbles me. I'm, I'm thankful for that because I'm not coming from that space. I don't, I'm not here to, to get uh, 
attention for what I look like. That's that's irrelevant to me. But if you come to my live and you learn something, and I change your life, you now that is gratifying. So I just want you ladies to understand that a lot of times we get so caught up in you know what we look like and and, and, and how pretty we are and how pretty someone else is and it really doesn't matter to be honest with you what truly truly matters is when you have substance when you take out the time to truly um i'm good got something to sign here uh carla Berry. that's me All right. yes thank you love yep, appreciate it um when you have something that that truly sits back and, and acknowledges that you are a person based upon your value your worth what you are on the planet pretty is just a, a, a cherry on top it doesn't really matter how pretty you are what matters is what you do for the planet that's what matters what matters is how you treat other people what matters is your impact to the planet. That's what matters. And so I wanted to talk about that today because I just don't want us to lose sight on getting so caught up in how pretty we are and, um, and how not so pretty someone else is because it doesn't matter. You had absolutely nothing to do with your pretty. Nothing. <laughs> Absolute zero. Your parents or the reason you look the way you do don't have nothing to do with what you did so we can sit up in here and think we're all this and all that and you had absolutely nothing to do with your pretty nothing but what you do have something to do with is how you impact the planet what are you coming with what's your substance what are you doing for others on the planet how are you living your life are you leading by example what kind of parent are you I was talking to my nieces yesterday and explaining to them the importance that in life there's going to come times when we're not getting straight A's. In life we might be getting some C's, D's, and F's. And we have to learn how to resolve those bad grades in life. See, we don't tell our kids about bad grades in life because we don't talk about bad grades in life. Bad grades in life is huge because number one, when you have a failed marriage or you have your children going awry and all over the place or your, your parenting skills are not where they need to be or you're not really financially where you need to be or you're having all kinds of, you know, issues going on. Families disarray. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that we could be doing in our life and in a certain season, we may be, we may be straight getting F's in life. And I told my nieces that are in school right now, I said, you know, I don't bitch too much about an F. I like to see where you come back from it. Do you resolve it? Do you do you seek a, a resolution? Do you learn from it? Do you ever have it happen again? Do you know what you do to not have it happen again? You can't get that wisdom unless you get an F. And in life, when you have a, a situation to where you have an F in life, a fail, <laughs> listen here. You learn from it. Trust. When I had a failed marriage and, you know, my parenting wasn't all where it needed to be and I had issues going on in my family. I mean, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And like I told my niece yesterday, I said, and all of those things, I had to figure out how do I resolve it? What do I need to do to improve it? How can I improve it? Can I improve it? not easy to do but we spend a lot of time getting caught up in how pretty we are and that don't mean a hill of beans because our face and all that fades we won't be here forever it's like my dad always teases me you ain't getting out of here alive either <laughs> so we laugh about it we have our own personal jokes but it's facts right so people aren't going to remember based upon how pretty I am, but hopefully they will remember me by what I'm gifting you, what I'm telling you, how I'm instilling in you the importance of getting off your buns and doing what you need to do in your purpose. Also, 
right now I have a course called Awaken Your Gifts. Now this course is free. So there's absolutely no excuse why you cannot take the course. The course doesn't cost you a thing, but time, energy, effort. And to awaken your gifts, and if you do the work, you'll have such a beautiful, you know, a beautiful um, investment in finding you. That's for facts. When you find your gifts and you find your purpose, you find out your why on the planet. There's nothing like it. Because what happens is, you start seeing the brightness of life. You start finding out, well, damn, I didn't realize how beautiful life can be when I'm really, truly doing what I need to do. Take my course. It's called Awakening Your Gifts. Also, I have another um, course called Mastering Your Feelings. There's a lot of us in relationships, and we can't master our feelings for a damn. We're a victim of our feelings. Are we not? Oh, I can't stand it. I don't know what I did. I said something I shouldn't have. Well, you got to learn how to master those feelings, man. See, we have situations where we're getting straight Fs in life. And we don't even know how to rectify it or improve it. But you have to do the inner work. You have to do what's necessary to make your mark on the planet. To make different provisional changes so that things don't have to be what they are in order to have change or in order to have restoration or in order to have something get better you have to change you have to evolve you have to be willing to do the work a lot of us don't feel like doing all that i don't feel like doing all that hey larry a lot of us don't want to have to really truly pay attention to what it takes to do the work so go take my course it's called awaken your gifts go over there now it's free it doesn't cost you a thing also if you're struggling with not being able to master your feelings you get frustrated easy you're often in an argument or you have a ton of misunderstandings all the time you might need to take that course too and it's also free called mastering your feelings all it takes is time on your part to do it. I'm just saying. Not that hard to do. Trust. So, listen, I'm just on my lunch, but I just wanted to let you guys know. It ain't about how pretty you are, man. That really means nothing. Like my mom said, pretty is as pretty does. You can be a beautiful, physically beautiful woman and be absolutely a horrible person on the planet. You could be causing havoc. You could be an evil spirit. You could be a narcissist. You could be abusive. Pretty don't mean a thing, honey. But if you turn around and really start taking an a, a inventory of you and learning what you have to offer outside of just your physical being, it changes everything. Because you'll find yourself like, dang, I didn't realize I could... Offer people something that's costing me nothing but time. It's not that hard to do, man. I'm just telling you. It's easy. It just cost, Sometimes it just costs us time to sit back and say, okay, this is what I have to do. And in order to do these things, I'm going to have to change some things. You just got to be willing to make the changes. I'm going to put the links here for you guys to take the course. Mastering your feelings and awakening your gifts. And then um, you guys got to fill me in on how you did on them. Courses are not that long. But when you do them and you complete them, you're going to find, oh my God, I didn't really realize how much I can evolve and change just based off of doing something different than I ever did before. Which was really just taking the time out to get to know me. And remember, I tell you all the time, a lot of people... They hate being alone, despise it. I can't stand being alone, I don't wanna die alone. But you were born alone. And not to mention, there's nothing wrong with being solo. You 
Because remember what my acronym is. SOLO is shine on loving oneself. Once you get to that point and you start shining on loving you, it's priceless, man. You're going to find yourself in a whole nother abundance of peace, joy, empowerment when you shine on loving yourself. Trust me. Just tell me. It's not that hard. It's just important that you understand it takes work to shine on loving yourself. And uh, one more thing and I'm out of here. Just understand, very soon I will be bringing out my solo clothing line. It's coming. Right now. So we will be, I will be letting you guys know about that too. It's coming soon. I have a couple more things to kind of line up and it's getting ready to start happening. Again, I want everybody to be happy with themselves. I don't care if you're in a relationship or not, you're still solo. <laughs> you're still you. In a relationship, you're still individually who you are. In a relationship or not. So married or not, solo can still represent the power within yourself. Because you have to shine on loving yourself or how you're showing someone else to love you is nine times out of ten so, so dysfunctional. It's just toxic. So you got to learn how to love you first to show someone else how to do the same. I'm just saying. So I'm out of here, guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Join me on Sunday at 12 noon. I will be still doing the manifestation series i'm not sure what the topic is yet i have to I have to uh, meditate on that and see what i'm going to talk about on sunday but on sunday at 12 noon i will be i will be talking about you know manifestation and learning how to empower yourself to have what you're here to do actually come to fruition so I'm out of here, everybody. I hope you guys already subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not, go over there. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. And subscribe today. All right? So I'm out of here, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day, guys.